All right, guys, welcome back to Kaiser Test RC. And today we are looking at the Cadex Peanut Action Cam, specifically tailored for FPV. It's very similar to the InstaGo 362. In fact, I believe the uh, internals and firmware are exactly the same as an InstaGo. I think it uh, uses the exact same um, app on your phone. So let's open it up, take a look, and see what comes inside. Uh, it's tailored more towards FPV, like I said. So let's crack it open. So right off the bat, we have ourselves the Quick Start Guide right here. You get a polishing cloth, wiping cloth for your lens. You get a little card here that gives you your basic operation of the uh, camera. So what else do we have here? We have a few adapters, another adapter right here. Oop. We have some ND filters right here. So to adjust your lighting and whatnot. These just screw on. You have a protector on the lens already there, it looks like. And the last thing is our little case. And some wiring harnesses here and a screw. Starting off with the uh, Insta3, or sorry, <laughs> the Cadex Peanut. Uh, it looks very, very similar to the uh, Insta360 go to. However, um, the case is different. All right, let's just take this plastic off, like so. So, the difference between this and the 360 go to, like I mentioned earlier, is the case is different. The weight, I believe this weighs like half a gram more. So your accessories that you would use on the Insta360 Go 2 won't work on this. This won't fit into the Insta360 cradle, uh, the Go 2 cradle. And the accessories here, the magnetic accessories, uh, will fit on the Insta360 Go, but they won't stay on. And that's because there's a little ridge right in here. And if you look over here, there's a ridge on that as well. So it fits in perfectly and then it just does not move. It stays in there really well. So if you're gonna use the camera standalone, you would use this. And I believe it uh, it's like 35 minutes from dead to charge this thing. And it has a, a USB-C right here. Or alternatively, what you would wanna do is You'd want to use this uh, also included uh, wiring harness that goes on and then you can actually connect this with these included, let me just open this up, comes with a bunch of wiring here. So you take one of these right here and you would wire, that would plug in there so you can take it from one quad to the other quite easily. You would want to use this on your flight controller, hook it up to five volts because it runs on five volts. You don't want to put any more to it than that. So five volts, uh, your negative, and this would go to your, um, any spare UART, and then you can uh, set it up. There's instructions there how you can set everything up so you can control the on off via a, uh, toggle switch on your radio, so that's pretty cool. That will give you more than 10 minutes of recording. Uh, it's got 32, I believe, gigabytes of uh, storage and 10 minutes recording on a single charge. But if you're using this, you can obviously use it much longer. You're gonna wanna keep air moving over this because uh, they do get hot. Oh, it's got some, some lettering right there, Cadex FPV, I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of cool. And you also get in the box, you get this holder, this mount. 
so you can mount it on your quad. Uh, it doesn't come with the lower mount, but apparently there are measurements. Yeah, there are measurements right there. You can make up your own, or you can look on Thingiverse. Um, there are a few already on there. Of course, as uh, this is out longer on the market, there will be a lot more makes by other people of this on thingiverse.com. So I did manage to get one already. Let's just take a quick look at it. Printed it up. My TPU is a little bit wet, so it didn't come out that great, but uh, definitely usable. And then I actually, if I wanted to use the included mount, there is a uh, something on Thingiverse already. So you can put that on your quad and use the existing included holder. There's the operation. So, um, so from powered off, if you want to get basic video stabilization with the uh, all the included settings, you just um, double press, or sorry, single press, just like that, turns on, and it should start recording. Yeah, it's recording right now. And then to turn it off, uh, let's see here, just press. Yeah, that's it. So she powers off. So that's for your very basic operation. If you just double press it, um, it goes into photography mode. And I guess you can wire that up to take pictures. Or maybe you can just press it one time and it'll take a picture. And um, if you want to just power it on, you just hold it. So now she's powered on, not recording. And if you want the best video recording, the flow state, stabilized video, what you do is you just single press it once it's on. And then it'll start to uh, start to record in the best, best resolution. And it's got hyperlapse. What else? It auto sleeps, standbys. So let's take a look at these instructions quickly. Tells you how to wire it right here. Tells you how to hook it up to your flight controller. And it even tells you how to set it in beta flight. And uh, from what I've heard, it's a little bit finicky on some boards. So I may try it on one board, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna run it directly right off my balance lead off my battery. I forgot to mention this, but this is a um, five volt regulator. And so what you would do is you would put this on the peanut, just like so. Then you would connect this, like so. But anyways, if you wanna connect it to the flight controller, you can do that with this wire. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna wire it up for power. And this is good. This regulator, you can hook it up to a 6S battery, but I've heard that 6S may be a little bit too much, may overheat. So I would maybe, it says 6S, but I would just go maximum 4S or 5S, I think. But this little regulator here will uh, step down the uh, voltage from battery voltage. It'll step it down to five volts, which this needs. Now, one other quick thing, well, that just reminded me, some quads already come with, it's set up right off the flight controller, one of these for power for a camera. Now be very, very careful, it's only five volts because sometimes it's, it's battery voltage. And if you do hook it up, you will end up frying this thing. And you don't wanna do that. Really looking forward to getting this thing out and trying it out. And uh, it's gonna go on my GEP RC signet right here that should be quite nice sitting right on top not too big just the right size and get some really nice stabilized video that's the cadex peanut and look for a flight test pretty soon on this glad i got my hands on one 
and we'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching like and subscribe to kaiser test rc and we'll see you again take care bye for now guys